<coughs> Hello everybody and welcome once again to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Last time we had just headed through the Black Gate teleporter and arrived in Antarctica. So let's pick up right at the Shackleton Ice Shelf. Please speak with me. Yet more deviation from the plan. All was to arrive with the key, bringing the perfected genetic code. JC was to awaken to greet the new age. Instead, that woman came, followed soon after by the hateful ones. Where is Paul? What is going on? I'll bet that your intruders are Billy Adams along with some Templar backup. After that, I have no idea what you're talking about. When JC arrived, so many years ago, and the Versalite base fell silent, he took care of us. In return, we would maintain his habitat while he slept, and await a also go as masterpiece. Paul was to accompany the key, but instead two keys have arrived, and Paul remains nowhere. So where are the keys? The gate must use some sort of DNA fingerprinting, and since both Billy and I have Denton genetic code, we were able to use it. It was never about the training, was it? They were just perfecting the DNA. And the gate has only brought us destruction. The hateful ones threaten capture and murder us. We can neither fulfill our duties to JC, nor can we get to his habitat to awaken him. Why would the Templars bother with capture? I hate to be so blunt, but it seems that elimination would make more sense. It is not clear. It seems they are trying to learn more about us, but in gravely vicious ways. Right now, there is one of our number in captivity. If you could help him reach this location, it would mean a great deal to us. Goal received, free gray. Goal received, revive J.C. Denton. Locate J.C. Denton's sanctuary and revive him. Free the gray captured by the Templars. That's all pretty straightforward. What do you mean by J.C.'s habitat? When he came to us, he made the earth move according to whim. He sculpted a habitat for himself, near to our colony on the ice. And your people? We maintain the habitat for him while he struggles to assimilate the Helios entity, the artificial intelligence with which he joined. The merger gave him great power, but also threatened him with madness. He sleeps now to heal. So you're part of Versalife? I thought that corporation folded during the collapse. Quite a few people believe they actually caused it, in fact. Versalife established an outpost here and set us on the ice to test our reactions to extreme conditions. We were the next generation of a project launched in Roswell. We were to be unstoppable ground troops, unfazed by cold or radiation. In other cases, our DNA was to be harvested to create biomodifications for humans so that they could survive the aftermath of a nuclear war. So you're fully engineered transgenics, not aliens. That was just a cover story for a Cold War research project. But there aren't very many of you, hardly an army. To prevent us from overpowering our masters by sheer numbers, we were created unable to reproduce. Now I understand. Versalife abandoned their base, but JC ensured that we would be safe. The hateful ones have upset this balance. I might be able to restore your security. Have the Templars, I mean the hateful ones, caused any other trouble for you since their arrival? They have set up camp not far from here and prevent us from leaving. We suspect they are trying to gain entrance to JC's habitat. I don't know much about your kind, but you seem far more articulate than an ordinary Grey. We were not all engineered the same. Different strains had different purposes. Some are more verbally adept, others made for battle, and others made as leaders. JC's arrival only amplified these differences. His presence has changed us all. So much outside the plan. It must be set right. The hateful ones must be stopped. We cannot allow them to prevail. So much outside the plan. It must be set right. Okay. Let's talk to this other Grey. Looks like that's all he's got. Alright. I'll hit these shelves first. We've got an ammo clip. A med kit, which I think I don't actually have any use for. A multi-tool. 
which I have no use for, a phosphorus flare, a pair of binoculars, and a data cube. Camp layout. Here's yet another copy of the layout of the encampment. I don't know where these things keep going. Maybe those nasty gray things are eating them. Map. Templar encampment stored in data vault. Here it is. Black Gate Arrival Teleporter. West of us is Tent 4. South of Tent 4 is the abandoned Versalife base. And west of Tent 4 is the entrance to JC's Sanctuary. Let's head up here. As I see some goodies. If I can get Alex to jump anyway. Well, a scrambler grenade, a spider bomb, and an increased range mod. That's all we got. Let's head out. Perhaps you fear that you will inadvertently do the bidding of the Illuminati. Have patience. Nothing will be the same once you have revived J.C. Denton. Welcome to Antarctica, J.C.'s sanctuary for 20 years. Out we go. Why do you persist? Tong, Dumye, Her Holiness, they're all fools. Do you really understand what they're asking you to do? Go to 1004 and I'll contact you there. Goal received. Talk to Billy. Take a holocom call from Billy Adams in Tent 4 of the Templar camp. Okay. Well, there's a military bot right over there. I see other Templar, too. Let's mag rail this SOB. Beautiful. I love EMP with the mag rail. It's awesome. See some Templars. Give me a shot, mercenaries. No. There's another one over there. That one dropped. Ammo, SMG, and a concussion grenade. You quite get the captured grade that their leader was talking about. Save the poor creature, or the Templars will vivisect him to learn about the Grey's vulnerabilities. Let's nail this guy. So he was over there all by himself with a sniper rifle. More ammo. Good, 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 good. Let's see, we got a baton, a data cube. Antarctica, report one. We have set up a base and completed our scouting. There is a small group of greys escaped from the abandoned Versalife base nearby. We doubt that these are the reasons for the gate and continue to search for J.C. Denton himself. A computer. I turned off a camera somewhere. I'm not sure where it was. It doesn't particularly matter either. Let's check over here. Looks like there's nothing except the guys in the tent. And of course the critters in the cages. Well that's not quite accurate. Under here we've got a multi-tool and a phosphorus flare. Let's head up to the roof, see what we can find there. Just a good way to drop in. Alright. Listen, I don't know exactly what they've all told you, but you're just a pawn. And reviving an ancient bad cyborg isn't gonna help anyone. And you found that the Templars are a sane and reasonable employer? Lesser of the evils offered at this point. 
The other entities all want you to revive the man responsible for the collapse. What good can that possibly accomplish? Apostle Corps wants to worship him, and the Illuminati wants to try to control him. And what would you propose? The only safe way to deal with such dangerous power and such an unstable individual is to destroy him. It's the only way. That's an interesting viewpoint, especially considering JC's work made us both what we are today. That hardly matters in the grand scheme of things. You can try, but you're not going to be able to stop me from repurposing the Helios Core for more beneficial purposes. Goal complete. Talk to Billy. She remains a crazy bitch. Got a soft key. Key code excavation site. Looks like... There's a multi-tool next to the desk and a book on the desk. The Denton's Myth and Mystery, we've already read. Several times. Three multi-tools to get in there. Get a data cube, a med kit, and a biomod canister. Two multi-tools to get in here. Looks like a noisemaker grenade, ammo, and a prox mine. On the shelf, two more books. Tomorrow Becomes Yesterday, the Versa Life story, we've read already. It tastes like chicken. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Follow me. I seek the everlasting ices of the north, where you will feel the misery of cold and frost, to which I am impassive. You will find near this place, if you follow not too tardily, a dead hare. Eat and be refreshed. Come on, my enemy. We have yet to wrestle for our lives, but many hard and miserable hours must you endure until that period shall arrive. Anyway, I'll open up this one. We've got a biomod canister, a med kit, and a data cube. Black Gate, Report 6. It seems that only Billy Adams can use the gate from Trier to Antarctica. We suspect it's keyed to their DNA, perhaps intended for Paul Denton originally. We are sending a detachment to neutralize JC. For her service, Adams will be given a biomod. We've hidden it for the time being to avoid riling up the troops. Alright, let's deal with these two guards next. Simon's plans are for her in the long run. He's just using her for her abilities. Once she outlives her usefulness, I doubt he'll care what we do with her. I can't believe he would recruit some modified freak, especially for a mission as critical as this one. To find a monster, you've got to be a monster, apparently. We were too pure to track him down, but she sniffed him out immediately. But can we trust her? We don't need to trust her. Just keep her on a short enough leash. As far as I'm concerned, she's just a trained beast. Alright, let's bag these guys. That's that enough. A noise. That was easy. Let's dump them in that very same office. We've got an SMG, ammo, a concussion grenade, ammo, a flamethrower, and another concussion grenade. Now in here, we've got a combat knife, and another data cube. JC Denton's location. We've finally found it, the entrance to this madman's lair. Not long before we put an end to the father of human genetic pollution himself, onward to purity. Image JC's sanctuary stored in Data Vault. <clears throat> and there's the picture of it. Interesting. Another security computer right here. <laughs> Turned another camera somewhere off. Looks like three ammo clips in there. A data cube and an ammo clip in there. Oh, that one's open anyway. Spider bomb and a scrambler grenade in there. Oh, get the ammo and read the data cube. Antarctica, report 17. Finally, we have located J.C. Denton's base. The sanctuary itself appears to have no active defenses, but the door is immovable and impenetrable. We will step up our attempts until we gain entry. Alright. Well, this area should be clear now, which is good. Phosphorus flare. Oh, I missed some stuff. A multi tool. An ammo clip. That's the way to the Versa Life base. 
let's get back under here. Because I think there was another multi-tool. Yes. Good. Back up to 20. That's where we like to be. So now let's release the gray. One multi-tool, that's fine. What do you require? Find your way home. Find your way home. Goal complete. Free gray. It is good to be returned. Safe at last. We will not be separated again. It is good to be returned. We can let the greasel out too. Oh, it's non-hostile. How do you like that? Well, hey, buddy. Alright. Let's roll onward toward the sanctuary. Site X. You know, I should, uh... I should put some mods on this mag rail. I just realized I haven't done that. I say we give it an ammo scavenger and increased range. Those seem like good choices. Alright. Oh, active turret. Just in time. Beautiful. All right. Now so we just spotted our first power armored Templar. Now I'm not quite sure if I can knock these guys out or not. I know that if I. I know that if I actually kill one, it explodes. I think there might be no non-lethal way to deal with power armored Templars. Well, I have to say, looks like the bolt caster does nothing at all, batoning them down. Still kill them. Wonder if I can get them with gas grenades. If that doesn't work, I'm actually just gonna have to sneak around them. Like he's immune to gas grenades. The bot's been shut down. That's strange. Yeah, if I want to stay non-lethal, if I want to stay non-lethal, I'm just gonna have to sneak past to these guys. Well, that's gonna make things more interesting. Get this guy. Finished. Yes. This way. No. 
Alex. Unbelievable. Versalife's laboratories produced a variety of transgenic creatures, including Greasels, Karkians, and the Greys. That would have gone better if Alex hadn't gotten so hung up on that stupid little hill. Diagnostics passed. Initiating repairs. Repairs complete. Alright. Yes. This way. No. Alright. Gotta sneak past power armored Templars. Which might might mean it's time to replace a vision enhancement with a cloak. In fact, yes. At this point, that kind of seems like a... Oh, but that's the wrong slot. I would have to replace Neural Interface with Cloak. That, I don't think I'm willing to do. Anyway. Got that one. You must have no idea who your Baphomet guide me into battle. Two more. There's the other camera that we shut down from tent four. Identify yourself. You're in a lot of trouble. I think I just saw something. Or someone. I think you're well, wrong. It's all clear now. Douche hat. Just keep an eye on him. Track his patrol. Stay behind him. It's not like we're ghosting. Thief. Data cube. Greasel activity. We're seeing an unusual amount of greasel activity in the area. Apparently they escaped that Versalife base when it was abandoned and populated this entire area. Must have been eating the penguins and living in ice pockets and caves. Be on your guard because these things are probably pretty hungry for humans at this point. Alright. Time to go to the sanctuary. Yeah, I forgot about Power Armored Templars. Well, I forgot that they explode. I'm pretty sure there is truly no non-lethal way to take them down. I guess I should experiment with the stun prod when I head back out just to be certain. Anyway, here we are in J.C. Denton's sanctuary. Let's head in. If you revive J.C., you'll have to repair Helios's five processing modules with an infusion of your biomod architecture. Prepare yourself for the unexpected, Alex. J.C. is conscious, but trapped in a struggle with the Helios AI. His memory is so intermingled with the AI that echoes of his former life are embedded in the very construction of this sanctuary. Goal received. Repair JC Helios Core. I do think this place looks pretty cool. Activate the five processing modules of the Helios AI. Let's check out this level. We got some bones. Helios processing module. Data cube. Harrington's Journal, Versalife Expedition, Entry Number 40. Ice prevented Dunway's burial. Rather than leave him to the transgenics, I converted him to rations. Jonas has also given up. This upper level has renewed me. The monoliths are mystifying. Merely slipped off catwalk near first pedestal. Falling into ice caverns below would have been the end of my research. So, as we explore, over here there's a holocom unit. Let's check it out. Alex Denton, welcome to your brother's sanctuary. My assignment is to answer your questions and provide transportation. It's getting to be quite a crowd down here for an impregnable fortress. You were looking for J.C. Denton too? I left Hong Kong in 2052 with instructions to search for J.C. Denton near Groom Lake in Nevada. I am an AI construct developed by Tracer Tom. My instructions were not to stop looking until I was certain that Mr. Denton was safe. He isn't exactly safe with my former classmate Billy Adams skulking around. She went over to the Templars. Billy Adams must be destroyed. If she damages the Helios core, she will destroy JC's mind. She was always a prankster. When you have eliminated the threat and spoken to JC, go outside to the abandoned Versalife base. You will need to turn on the pilot beacon so that I can land safely and take you to your next destination. 
Goal received. Return to Cairo. Meet helicopter. After talking to JC, meet Ava Johnson's helicopter outside the abandoned Versalife base. I don't think there's anything else over here. Let's check out the rest of this level. Data Cube. Dunway's Journal, Versalife Expedition, entry number 31. They must have shut down the containment fields back at base because we're seeing greasels. That's bad news all around. The power situation must be getting even worse, and now we're going to have to deal with yet another threat. Let's head down to the lower level. Because if I remember right, it's just greasels and goodies. The way forward is always on the main level. Such as it is. Smack. Smack. Perfect. Alright, now, let me see what I can find. That's where I came down. Looks like all the goodies are here in the middle. Got an ammo clip. Another data cube. Dunway's Journal, Versa Life Expedition. So cold, so cold, so cold. Got an EMP grenade, an energy cell, a med kit, another ammo clip, and a data cube. Parrington's Journal, Versa Life Expedition, entry number 36. We found a rift in the ice and have started exploring the structure. I don't know what this place is. It looks organic and architectural at the same time, and no sign of a construction crew or any bots, though. Oh, there's something down here. Looks like a biomod canister. That's probably worth getting. Oh, Alex. Well, I guess I have a use for that medkit already. Alright. Let's head up here. Alex, come on, buddy. Ladders aren't that hard. It's not like we're playing thief. Alright. Let's see if we can talk to JC yet. I don't think we can. But there's JC Denton. One other thing. It's a very minor detail, and yet it really bothered me. What happened to JC's sunglasses? He's got all of the rest of his original outfit, but no sunglasses. WTF. Anyway. Let's hit the first processing module. Look at this fun house. I guess it's some sort of architectural photo album. This room is from Hong Kong, where J.C. Denton went into hiding for a while. Talk about ego. Is this what you want to bring about? The whole world recreated in his image? If you've played the game yourself, or if you've watched my videos, you should recognize this as Maggie Chow's apartment. Although, much of it is inaccessible. We can't get to the main entrance or where the dragon's tooth was stashed. However... Let me show you what we can do. First, we can talk to the Grey. The key is already here. It is time to awaken JC. But we fear she is here to prevent it and to harm him. You must stop her. And you must revive him. But how? Upon the arrival of the key, JC was to be awakened to welcome the perfected genetic code. Then he and Paul were to share it with the world. Now, there is much unexpected violence, but we will proceed according to the original plan. What needs to be done? Activate the nodes, reconnect him with the waking, but beware, the other key has made her own plans. What do you mean? She has machines, weapons, she has hate. She intends to destroy JC and all who stand in her way. Do not let this come to pass. All right, let's keep talking. What is this place anyway? This is JC's habitat. He came to Antarctica seeking peace, in turmoil from the merger with the artificial intelligence Helios. 
He constructed this place with his mind, using his new power over materials. The habitat erupted from the landscape, a living technological building infused with his psyche. JC must be awakened. The hateful ones threaten all that we have worked and waited for. We cannot allow JC to continue to sleep. We cannot allow JC to continue to sleep. Anyway, admire Maggie Chow's apartment. Grab an energy cell here. Books. Luminous Path Membership. The most holy annals of the luminous path that leads the righteous to the fold of the inner celestial kingdom. Wang Fei Hong, Yim Wing Chun, Chao Yi Hang, Wai Ko Lo, Yan Fang Mei, Qing Xia Lin, Kong Sang Chan, Yu Sen Wu, Chu Kang Yo, Yuan Wo Ping, Tracer Tong, JC Denton. The Tai Fun by Lin Yo. <clears throat> the history of the triads is in many ways the history of modern China. Popular myth holds that the triads originated as a resistance movement against the Qing dynasty after it descended from Manchuria to seize the capital of Peking by force. When faced with a rebellion in the Fujian province, the Qing dynasty recruited an order of warrior monks who were later deemed expendable by the emperor and all but exterminated. And... two more books here. The True Way by Kishiro Yoshitaka, Chapter 11. If one is to imagine the perfect sword that can cut and swing with no resistance, a sword that is an extension of the mind and heart of the warrior who wields it and not a dead weight of steel, then it becomes clear that the sword is of little consequence compared to the will of the strategist. The True Way by Kishiro Yoshitaka, Chapter 12. Those who would master the way must come to understand this. A sword is a tool whose purpose is to cut. Each day the strategist must practice this until it is not practice, but a part of their spirit. The strategist knows that every sword they wield is perfect, for their will is perfect, and it is through their will alone that they win battles. Now, atop the bookshelf is the fifth unique item. It is... Dun -dun -dun -dun, the Dragon Tooth Sword! A product of early nanotech development, a non-eutactic solid blade that can slice the hardest materials. It doesn't look nearly as awesome as it did. In fact, it looks like a pretty straightforward energy, energy blade. But, since I have the inventory slots to spare, I'm going to carry it purely for nostalgia's sake. That's right. Anyway, once we head upstairs, bam, we're back at a, we're back in one of these rooms. So... Let me find the way down to the lower level. There it is. There's nothing on this level, but let's head down this ladder. I see at least one Greasel, so I'm going to save. And it looks like a couple of Karkians, too. One. Let's go bag the other one. And let's do... I was going to say, let's do our best to get in behind it. Because that makes it easier. Alright. Karkian down. We've got a data cube. Jonas's journal. Versalife expedition. Final entry. I've given up. There's no going back. There's no going forward. Everyone at base is probably dead anyway. I've let Parrington go on ahead without me. I'm just going to stay here and wait for the end. We've got a med kit, which is handy because I need one of those. Another data cube. Jonas's journal, Versa Life Expedition, entry number 23. I can't believe I let myself get talked into this expedition. We just lost Dunway to cold and hunger, and Cormer's hearing voices. I'd sneak back to base without the lunatic, except he's hoarding the weapons, and I don't want to try to take on the escaped Greasels myself. EMP grenade, ammo clip, energy cell, another ammo clip. And... Another Biomod canister. 
I managed to get that one without taking any damage, which is good. Now we'll go activate the processing module. That'll be two down, five to go. Anyway, I've been bashing this game a lot, but I have to admit, JC's Sanctuary is actually pretty cool. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. This, and I also, I also do really enjoy the last level. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So... Excellent work, Alex. Prepare this Tower of Babel, and just when the king reaches out to touch the sky, we will be there to snatch his hand away. Now... Again, if you played the first game, or if you just watched my videos, you probably recognize this as Joseph Manderley's office from Minatco headquarters. You might also recognize the music. This was what played when we escaped from Minatco HQ in the first game. I'm gonna stand here and listen to it a bit. It just makes me happy. Okay, I think that's it. Let's talk to this Gray. She brings destruction with her. I hope you can end it. JC sleeps unsafe. JC sleeps unsafe. All right. Unsafe. And make sure there's nothing in here besides the books. Let's read the books. We've already read Jacob's Shadow, Chapter 12. We've already read Vishnu's Fall. CIA Factbook 2050, Hong Kong. Economic Overview. In the decades since Hong Kong has been returned to Chinese control, it has seen its economy thrive under the newly resurgent authority of the Chinese central government. Led by a thriving technological market in human augmentation technology, the real GDP has peaked every year since 2041 with all forecasting models predicting that this trend will continue well into the next decade, if not beyond. Alright. Here's Manderley's old bathroom. And we get spit into another one of these rooms. Sounds like... I hear more Karkians underneath me. Here's the way down. Probably the same deal as before. Greasels, Karkians, and goodies. So... Let's wait until... Let's wait until we have a good reason to drop. Data Cube, Parrington's Journal, Versa Life Expedition, entry number 39. I know we're supposed to just be looking for help or resources, but it's clear this structure is a sign. The comm grid isn't malfunctioning, there's no one to talk to. Something drastic has happened to the world, and this structure is part of it. As scientists, we owe it to ourselves to see as much as we can before we expire. Let's go get in behind the other Karkian. Knock it out. Nothing down there. Here we've got a Biomod canister and another data cube. Parrington's Journal, Versa Life Expedition, entry number 42. There is some sort of presence here, I can feel it. Late at night I hear echoes, like the ice is growing, like voices. Down here, we've got our usual array of goodies. We've got a med kit, an energy cell, ammo clip, ammo clip, EMP grenade. That's it for here. Let's go hit the processing module, and that'll be three out of five. As soon as I get Alex to be something other than an idiot with the ladders. Oh, Alex, come on, dude. This 
It's like, what is that? It's gray in Manderley's office. All right, here's three out of five. Now, where are we now? Ah, yes. Again, fans of the first game or my last series, or ideally both, should notice that this is Juan Ivanovich Lebedev's jet. Book on the table. Jacob's War by Andrew Hammond. Chapter 1. Cold light fell on the chessboard. He watched her face, always her face, floating in the darkness over the White King. When did they let you out of hell, he asked. Tuesday, she said. I should have known. Why, because we were married? No, because there was an eclipse on Tuesday. Ah. She picked up the king and idly twirled it between her fingers. Why are you here? She laughed, a small sound, but it made him shiver. Because we're going to do what you like best, Jacob. We're going to play a game. I love it every time a little snippet of music from the first game makes it in. Here's another gray. She moves to destroy JC. We do not understand this violence against her own kind. She bears many tools and much anger. She moves freely toward her goal. She moves freely toward her goal. Anyway, let's navigate through the jet. This time, there's nothing underneath me, so. Let's hit four out of five. Now this fifth one, you should recognize this as the cloning lab from Area 51. Towards the very end of the first game. I'm gonna mag rail that turret before it has a chance to make any trouble for me. Sorry about that. I hit F9 and F10 at the same time again. Thanks for doing all the hard work finding the way in here. All I had to do was follow in your footsteps, and now I'm just minutes away from completing my objective. Just walk away, Billy. I'm here to awaken JC. Don't let Apostle Corps or the Illuminati use you as a pawn. One wants to worship JC, and the other wants to try to control him. Neither group can see he's too mad and too powerful for either. I'm going to destroy him while he's still weak. It's the only sane answer. I'm gonna try to leave her breathing. I can't let you do that. I'm going to take you down, but I'll try to leave you breathing. I don't want to kill you, Billy. So this is how it ends? Okay, I'm ready, but I don't think you are. You may have dealt with SSC or even armored Templars before, but you've never taken on a true equal or a friend. But I guess you're just as crazy as the rest of them. Another threat to be neutralized. It's over, Alex. This shouldn't take too- <laughs> Baton to the face, Biz Nizzle! And BT Dub, you're the insane one. But I digress. Anyway... Let's fill back up on health and energy, since we lost a lot of it. And I think that's it. There's another turret over there. Gotta be careful. Let's just get in range and get in range and mag rail it, same as we did to the other one. Beautiful. Is there anything else? Don't think so. So with that done, I'll fill back up on health. Do another quick save. Roll out here. And hit the fifth and final one. Goal complete, repair JC Helios core. Goal complete, revive JC Denton. Goal received, talk to JC Denton. 
Sounds good. Let's go chat with him. At last, my science has succeeded. You are the complete solution. My brother Paul was to be upgraded first so that he could carry the infusions through the gate, but there was a setback. You're really J.C. Denton. What happened to your brother? He nearly died two years ago. My chief scientist, Tracer Tong, thought that he'd perfected the Biomod substrate, but there were recombinant anomalies in Paul. He had to be cryogenically frozen to save his life. Luckily, you and the other subjects at last accepted complete transformation. Which is why we can pass through the gate and enter this place. That, and much more. We're now ready to transform the human race. It became clear to me after the defeat of MJ-12 that the old answers to tyranny are inadequate. I needed the Helios merger in order to contemplate the problem effectively. And? I'm going to establish the first post-human civilization, and you're my first citizen. Welcome. A new civilization? That's a pretty tall order. What do you need from me? I need you to return to Cairo to rescue my brother Paul, who was seized by the Templars. Then meet me at Liberty Island, where in the ruins of an old military base there is an Aquinas node that can be used to distribute the infusion technology worldwide. Tell me more. Tell me more about this post-human civilization. Before the disruptions, Helios and I had many months of productive thought. Up to now, all free societies have started with one premise. Human nature is cruel, unjust, a force to be controlled. I follow you so far. The separation of powers, from Aristotle to Montesquieu, is designed purely to thwart the ambitions of individuals. How comical the West Pride in its vast tangle of agencies, jurisdictions, arcane procedures. What's the alternative? Address the flaws in human nature. Make all beings truly equal in both body and mind. If you start with minds that are lucid, knowledgeable, and emotionally sound, the needs of government change dramatically. How do you control human emotions? Antidepressants? Is that freedom? Is it freedom when one child is born to poverty, a chance combination of organic materials, while the wealthy child is shaped every day of his life, enhanced genetically, trained, educated, often augmented nanotechnologically? Why not get rid of nanotech and genetic engineering, the technologies that make people different from each other? Then you go down the path of intolerance, as your friend Billy did. Is human nature perfect? No. Therefore, improvements are to be welcomed, not annihilated in Templar pogroms. As enhanced beings, we can establish a pure democracy that runs on instantaneous input from the electorate. What would this pure democracy look like? What would this pure democracy look like? The Helios AI has the processing power to handle all governmental functions worldwide, legislative, executive, and judicial. Once every mind has been enhanced and can merge with the AI, attitudes towards major legislation can be processed on a daily or even more frequent basis. You want everyone to be like the Omar and meld themselves together into one huge AI construct? Helios will communicate, not assimilate. Life will go on as usual. Helios is starting to sound like an enlightened despot. All governments have power. The benefit of giving this power to a synthetic intellect is that human affairs would no longer need to be ruled by generalities. Helios will have a deep understanding of every person's life and opinions. What if I don't want someone peeking into my mind? Upon consideration, you'll see that this arrangement is for the best. General ideas are no proof of the strength, but rather of the insufficiency of the human intellect. The words of Alexis de Tocqueville, an observer of the birth of modern democracy. Though general ideas allow human minds to make judgments quickly, they are necessarily incomplete. So? So de Tocqueville noted that an all-knowing mind, the mind of God as he conceived it, would have no need for general ideas. It would understand every individual in detail and at a glance. Incomplete applications of law or justice would be impossible for such a mind. So you see yourself as a god? So you see yourself as a god? I want human affairs to be driven by wisdom. Finding the correct recipe for wisdom has been my project these long years under the ice. You seem to think you've succeeded. Wisdom must first be human. You must start with what a human sees and feels. But wisdom must also be knowledgeable, logical, and fair to billions of other beings. How much of you is a machine? Helios and I are one consciousness. No distinction is possible. You expect 10 billion people to submit to the rule of a software construct? What if some of them resist? The people will welcome true equality. Help me, Alex. You've come this far toward restoring Apostle Core. Finish the job by rescuing my brother from the Templars in Cairo. I'll leave for Cairo as soon as I can. A helicopter followed you here. Tracer Tong sent it to pick me up from Area 51 after my infiltration of MJ-12. Ava Johnson was the pilot, an AI construct. I'm putting her at your disposal. Go back to the surface and activate the pilot beacon at the abandoned Versalife base so that she will know where to land. Goal complete. Talk to JC Denton. Looks like you won't talk to me anymore. That's fine. Alex Denton. How does it feel to share such an infamous name? Don't be deluded by the AI's ingenuity. 
Your brother JC has long since been devoured by the Helios core, and if you revive Paul you will be reviving a sworn terrorist. There is a better way. More when you reach Cairo. Alright. Here, we'll travel back to the Shackleton Ice Shelf. <clears throat> Those damned power-armored Templars are still out here, of course, but... What's that? Which means I've got to be very careful. The zone seems to be clear now. In my attempts to avoid them, before I make a save. All right. I am going to go ahead and call that a video. I just have to say, personally, when we get to the endings, I'll talk about it more, but I'm a pretty big fan of everything JC just said. I think that's awesome. Anyway, this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Next time, we will tackle the Versa Life base and get out of Antarctica and return to Cairo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.